Hi, you guys. This is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for tuning back in or welcome if you are new here. So today we're going to go ahead and do another collective reading. And these are just going to be little updates for whoever needs to hear it, any specific message that needs to reach you. So as usual, I trust that if this finds you, if you feel intuitively guided to it, then it could be for you. Um, but just use your intuition and just take what's going to resonate with you. I'm seeing a motorcycle. I don't know why. We'll see what that means. But uh, let's see what comes up here today. So what does the viewers of this reading spirit need to hear? What is the message for whoever is going to come across this reading? Anyone who is going to be guided to this message today? We have the Fool and the Six of Cups. So they're showing me somebody who is detaching. It almost looks like sticky gum, um, detaching from something. And with the Fool coming up here, it does feel, yeah, Two of Swords, the Justice card and the chariot is at the bottom of the deck here. So I'm getting this energy where there's a lot of universal alignment right now. Um, for whoever this is for, it feels like you could be in the process right now. I'm hearing stages. So in the stages of detaching either from something or in the stages of, um, you know, with the fool here, taking some type of new journey, it's time to do that. Or this is a confirmation that there's some type of detachment going on. And I don't know what that's going to mean for you. I'm getting throat chakra I'm hearing too. So with the justice card here as well, um, it feels like they're kind of showing me something has been saved for later. Almost like if you put something aside and it's like a box or something. I mean, it may not be a box, but just how they're showing it. And it's like spirit saying it's been saved for later. So I feel like for whoever this message is for, you may um, either be moving into a certain direction, which you've maybe you're revisiting for some of you something from the past with the Six of Cups. And it's like it's been kind of waiting for the right moment to reach you. Um, it can also be that this is, yeah, I think that's what it is though. It feels like something, tell me a little bit more spirit about this message. What is this for? Or who is this for here? Let me go into this deck here. What else? Yeah, I mean, they're definitely showing me like somebody taking off an invisible cloak almost is what it looks like. So it feels like something is going to be revealed here. Um, for whoever this is for, you may even know about this, or this is something that you kind of feel with this, uh, like eclipse here in the top corner. It feels like there's a unveiling of this with the justice here too in the chariot. And it seems to be something that you've been either feeling attached to mentally, emotionally, or you've been waiting for an answer. Um, and again, stages, something about almost kind of like they're showing me when you buy like a scratch off ticket and you have to scratch it to see the prize underneath. That's kind of what they're showing me here. So tell me a little bit more spirit, please. What is this about? Tell us a little bit more. The places you've never seen, the places that have been hidden. It's like, I feel like this is, uh, again, almost like a scratch off. You know, you're, what's underneath it is something that you have either been waiting for, but you didn't know existed or what you have been kind of the story or the attachment, or I don't know what this is, but it feels like it's being scratched off in order for the truth to re be revealed. But it seems to be a positive movement though. So 
It's like a car that gets unstuck, yeah. And this was at the bottom when I shuffled before I started the reading. So yeah, yes, just say yes. And so that's with the fool. This is for someone who needs confirmation that you are um, either doing the right thing right now if you've made a decision or you've decided to, you know, perhaps um, go into a different direction or if you've detached yourself from an outcome to something. It feels like if you, you may not, you know, you may not know what's going to be underneath that kind of prize, you know, what is it going to be? But it feels like there's a risk being taken here with the yes and this is uh, that confirmation. Seeding the light laying foundations and divine plan the cornerstone i'm hearing the cornerstone tell me a little bit more spirit about the what is this yes what is this fool about coming clean dance do something to shift your vibration and they're kind of showing me too almost like fresh laundry coming out of the dryer or fresh dishes out of the dishwasher it feels like there's a cleansing happening so like i said in the very beginning there was that feeling of kind of detaching from this like sticky gum and cleansing it kind of putting it to to wash it away so spirit does want someone to know that you are on a journey to detach yourself from something um, to shift your vibration to move into a certain direction that's going to feel much more like kind of free flowing and liberated for you and um, it feels like it's a little bit intangible though like I'm trying to understand what exactly this is it could be different for a lot of you um, if you were not afraid what would you do so there's that warrior woman giving you a reminder to um, do what it is that you feel, even if it scares you right now, uh, this is your confirmation to do it. This is your confirmation to trust what you're being guided to do. And, you know, maybe the two of swords, the, the kind of sticky gum can even relate to like a stickiness around the third eye, almost like a blockage in terms of your intuitive um, kind of nudge or your, what your intuition is telling you. And it seems like I'm hearing as the season changes or as the seasons change, so it could even be as we move into the summer or wherever you are. Um, it just feels like something about moving from one of that kind of stage to another. And this feels like for someone that is ready to take that leap or ready to take that jump. Um, and that reference I had seen before of saving it for later, it does say here too, seeding the light divine plan. So maybe you are... Yeah, I'm seeing a, an arm reaching out from spirit, an arm reaching out. The Page of Cups, yes, there's an offer. It could even be an offer from a person. It could be an offer. Um, it feels like something, again, the way that you'll know if this is for you, either it's something that you are beginning to plant. It could be a new seed. It could be a new project. It could be a new, I don't know what it is, but you're planting this seed. And with the rainbow here too, it could even be planting like a new belief system in your mind, you know, planting a new vibration, if that makes sense, like that um, coming out of the dryer kind of feeling, you know, putting fresh clothes on, putting a fresh um, aura. And I was drawn to use these aura reading cards, which I never use. So I'm going to pull one from here, but um, there could be something about someone needing to know that when it comes to your aura, your energy, your um, spiritual body mental emotional physical any of the these it feels like you have detached or cleansed yourself from something or you are about to and what this is doing is it's helping to align either a sacred plan in your life to finally like kind of happen that you were blocked from for some time or even with the six of cups something that you've been wanting could even be returning to you it feels like that kind of energy here um, it can also be like the six of cups being past life energy or past life gifts or spiritual gifts there's something about a hand being reached down with the page of cups so this is if you do receive an offer if you found this reading and you received an offer or you just kind of feel like there's a new um, idea you have this is that confirmation to move forward because 
it's going to shift you out of hesitation and it's it's definitely you've flown off of a spinning wheel and now you are ready to receive ace of cups here there's a again detaching from some lower vibration with the four of cups here okay okay so let me pull here from this these aura reading cards is there anything else spirit about this message today Some of you, I'm hearing a message that um, sitting in the sun or soaking up the sun could be healing. Yes, we have yellow aura. So it does say here, have the ability to see the positive in everything, opportunity for growth, being able to balance personal life between work and play. Rainbow fluorite is a crystal that one could use. Suggested careers, writer, scientist, mathematician, balancing aura is the indigo. So some of you here could be connecting with the color yellow. Um, again, I was seeing the sun, so maybe like orange, yellows. There's like a lot of orange and yellow here too in the fool. So, or you may have a yellow aura. You know, that could just be a confirmation here. Um, it feels like this is, you know, maybe even this message here is saying to see the positive and bringing balance in the work and play. That could be a message for someone here. Some of these cards are like instructions. So what else, Spirit? Is there anything else here from this deck? Anything else about this message today? So I'm also hearing some of you could feel like time is speeding up or you will soon feel like time is gonna speed up. You know, when you take this opportunity or when you kind of jump into this energy, um, it may feel like time is moving really quickly. But I think this is an opportunity for a lot of you. I'm seeing someone like at a door and they have like a passcode that they have to put into the door to get in. So that could be specific if you are working somewhere like that or you have an opportunity to, I don't know, go to some institution or workplace and you have a passcode. But it's almost like the way they're showing it too is like hacking some type of like matrix energy. So it feels like this is like a passcode that you're opening. I don't, I don't know what this means, but you're opening a passcode to something. Okay, so we have red and blue also. Let me get one more. Energy vampires. Okay, one more. <laughs> Someone here could be a singer. And if you've been uh, wanting to, you know, sing or... Um, pursue a career in singing that's a confirmation for someone here it can also be like speaking your truth to boundary setting yeah okay so we have red aura and blue aura people with the red auras are in touch with the physical body and enjoy things such as exercise physical touch and eating they're often labeled as having intense personalities which make them angry easily however they process this anger through physical outlets so that could be a message for someone here too to you know maybe root chakra or move your body and then we have blue aura desire to guide others towards their goals opportunity for growth making time to listen to other people's opinions crystal for balance carnelian teacher speaker or activist yeah i was seeing that um somebody singing so i don't know if this is about speaking just your truth in general or speaking your mind or this is for someone who needs to pursue, you know, maybe a career as a speaker or a singer or share your voice somehow. Um, but we have energy vampires and ability to, or boundary setting. So an energy vampire is someone who is energetically draining. They are not bad people. They just take up a lot of your energy. It can be fulfilling to share energy with others, but it is important to know how much you are giving and that you keep enough for yourself. If you give too much, it will drain your aura. So setting boundaries with energy vampires is a good idea. 
Setting boundaries doesn't mean removing people. It is a conscious decision to spend less time around those who drain your energy. So yeah, this, this can be with the um, Two of Swords here, the Four of Cups. Somebody here needs to set boundaries. I'm getting like this energy of something atta like uh, touching you, astral body. This can even be something that you feel. Some of you could actually, if you're sensitive to energy, you may feel like when you're around a certain person or a certain group of people, it may almost feel like it's touching you. Like, like spirit show me somebody touching your skin and, and you kind of getting irritated. So I don't know. That could mean that that's what this is about. You know, this, this whole reading could be about you uh, detaching yourself from those kind of energies, but it feels like it's on a deeper layer where it's also about with the um, fool and, and why I was drawn to use these aura reading cards is because this is for someone who needs to know that their energy is shifting, not just like the physical world, but it's something with your actual um, energy, your vibration that's shifting here. And this could be because you have become more aware of setting boundaries um, or you're needing to. But I think if this is your reading, you would probably already be in this process. And this would be confirmation that you are raising your vibration right now. So stay away from any energy vampires, especially if you have contact with a specific person or a specific group of people that kind of just feels like it's almost like getting under your skin, literally getting too close to you. I'm also seeing yoga could be um, a message for someone here doing yoga, maybe. But yeah, I think I'll leave it there. And then that card at the bottom, if you were not afraid, what would you do? Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So there's two questions. What would you do? So yeah, ask yourself that. What would you do if you could do anything at all and you didn't have to be held back or held down by um, outside things or external parties or things that you feel have limited you and it seems like you're on your way to doing this you're definitely on your way to doing this and there may be that offer coming in that is coming from your true heart soul or even some something trustworthy around you that's going to extend an offer to you and also connecting more with your guides i'm hearing as well so i hope that this reading could find whoever is meant to hear it and thank you so much for tuning in. Um, have a great day and I will talk to you next time. Take care and lots of love.